Okay, um, this video I'm going to be showing you um, the VMware uh, ESXi version 4.1 um, running off of a an AMD uh, E350 um, APU um, setup. Uh, at first I was a um, little uh, concerned about the uh, the power but um, I was actually surprised at um, what I saw so um, right now uh, I have it running with uh, 8 gigs of RAM uh, it's a dual 1.6 gigahertz um, processor again it's a E350 AMD APU um, so right now I have a couple of um, VMs running um, I have FreeNAS uh, version 8, uh, Ubuntu server uh, 11.04, uh, Windows 2008 R2 standard, and they're all running right now on idle, but um, under summary, uh, you can see that it's only using up a uh, total of 272 megahertz. Here you'll see the um, two times uh, 1.599 gigahertz or 1.6 gigahertz total of um, 8 gigs now I, I have 8 gigs of RAM in there but the um, video memory actually uh, the default or the lowest is uh, 384 megabytes so that's why you're only seeing um, 7.8 gigs um, and I have two uh, data stores set up a terabyte and uh, 500 gigabyte. Right now I'm just using the 500 gig uh, for the um, virtual machines and um, their, their hard drives. Uh, we can go over each um, uh, virtual machines. Uh, we can look at FreeNAS. Uh, it's a simple, simple um, setup. Uh, I just have, I believe it's just uh, two gigs of uh, hard drive space um, and I set aside what is this um, I don't even remember what is it like 128 meg of RAM or 256 megs of RAM oh here it is 128 megs of RAM one CPU um, anyway so that's um, the free NAS uh, setup uh, next is the Ubuntu server and um, what I configured for this uh, virtual machine is uh, just a gig of memory uh, and one CPU and uh, 40 gig of uh, hard drive space. And right now it's just it's just on idle, running at 15 megahertz. Um, the server uh, I didn't install the the GUI, so it's just a um, uh, running off like a terminal console so um, if I were to go in and it's, it's just this it's there's no uh, Windows GUI or whatever that's why it's running um, pretty low uh, next one is the Windows 2008 uh, R2 standard and how I configured this one uh, it's what is it like two or three gigs of memory two gigs of memory uh, and 40 gigs of uh, hard drive space and on idle it's running at 131 uh, megahertz um, but for most of the time though it's really running up there uh, at 1.6 gigahertz uh, whenever I'm either installing um, a software or, or patching up with updates uh, I actually have um, Windows or, or uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server 2008 um, all of the virtual machines are actually all 64-bit uh, the free NAS the Ubuntu and the 2008 uh, virtual machines they're all 64-bit uh, uh, and it's it's running it's running pretty well so again it's, um, this is uh, running off uh, E350 AMD um, APU processor as you can see here dual 1.6 gigahertz uh, I had to add an Intel uh, network card to get ESXi to work or 
where you would have to modify the um, the OEM uh, drivers you can download from um, the the websites um, that that help you set up uh, white box uh, VMware ESXi's. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know what else to show, but uh, I I did try to run a Windows Seven Ultimate uh, virtual machine, but it kept running at a hundred percent of my CPU. And that's all four virtual machines running at the same time. Uh, not too sure um, what what was going on. Um, just too lazy, I guess. But um, you you could run three uh, virtual machines with with that setup with a, a, the um, E three fifty CPU. Um, but four, I'm not too sure, especially if they're uh, Windows operating systems. Uh, they they do run a lot of um, resources. Uh, I, that's about it. Um, the motherboard I got is an ASRock. Uh, uh, what is it like an E three fifty with the USB three I can't remember the exact model. Uh, sorry if I'm just babbling. I'm just I'm tired. It's late. I wanted to record this video before I, I uh, tear it apart. Um, I just uh, got curious with the um, configuration and wanted to see what kind of um, performance I would get uh, with with the uh, the setup and uh, ESXi. Um, all in all, I, I, again, I'm I'm surprised uh, at what I got. Um, I expected less, to be honest, but uh, turned out it turned out to be good. So. Um, yeah, uh, Windows 2008, it's fully patched, uh, Service Pack 2, I believe, or 1, or whatever, the, uh, the latest patch. I have it installed, um, Service Pack 2 of SQL Server 2008, 64-bit is also installed running on there. The Ubuntu is 11.04, um, I installed uh, OpenSSH Server, and uh, LAMP, so it has a Apache, PHP, MySQL, um, but there are no databases uh, running. The servers themselves are running, but no databases, no no querying going on. Um, so it, it, it's really just idling. The, the FreeNAS um, has no shares set up, um, no file transfers going on. Uh, so I'm sure if uh, there are activities, the uh, CPU usage would increase. Um, but yeah, I mean, from what I've noticed with just basic ESXi setups, uh, CPU isn't really a, a big factor. Uh, it's more on the memory. Um, I mean, CPU, you would need a pretty um, powerful, not too powerful, but I mean, as you can see, it's just a dual 1.6. So you, could, you could run any dual core processor or even single core if, it, if it, it's at a high speed. Um, but it, it will use up a lot of memory so if you're planning on uh, at least two uh, VMs you might want to run at least four gigs of RAM um, because uh, ESXi already uses up I believe at least 500 gigs or I'm sorry 500 megabytes of RAM just to run ESXi it's it's around that that area 500 to 700 megs uh, just to run the software off of the server and then um, you, you could allocate the rest uh, to your via virtual machines um, but that's uh, about it um, I, I, I don't see too many videos um, regarding the E350 processor and the ESXi I've seen uh, post post and threads throughout the internet but um, not 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 too detailed so I just wanted to